Hello guys and welcome back. Today I have a Chanel video for you guys. This is their summer 2024 collection. Now I don't know if they're coming out with more stuff because right now there's not that many things but there are these sun-kissed, healthy glow sun-kissed powders. They came out in five different shades. I think there's a purple mascara. They also came out with single eyeshadows which I've picked some right here but I've actually decided to do a separate video on these just because I have I think five different shades and they are in a different collection I think that's like permanent collection so today we're just going to focus on these powders right here I am wanting to do more dedicated videos to just one product rather than a mishmash of everything and just make them a little shorter let me know if you enjoy that but I just think that that may be a little bit more helpful but these are the products right here I have two shades but I'll tell you a little bit about how I came to have these two shades. This is light coral and I have medium rose coral. Now I also had medium coral and I've did applications for you, swatches, all that good stuff, but I'll tell you why I decided to swap it for the rose one. These bad boys are $95 each. However, you do get a ton of product here. You get 15 grams of product. You get a blush, bronzer, and highlighter all in one. It kind of reminds me of the Marc Jacobs, like they did this. I think La Mer did this as well. This rose gold one is a little bit different just because I use these two as pretty much a combination of a bronzer, but you could definitely use all of these, just swirl a big brush in there and use it as bronzer. So that's what I'm gonna do today, show you some swatches, comparison, and all that good stuff. So let's get started. The product comes in these boxes. There's no velvet protector or anything like that. The packaging, I will say, is massive. Look at compared to my, my head. Uh, and I know Chanel has done these oversized bronzers and highlighters and things like that, and I've never bought them just because to me, I'm never gonna go through that. I don't even go through small bronzers, like powder bronzers ever, unless they're cream. Uh, but I like this because to me, I have pretty much three in one and there's a lot of product and big pans to where you could really separate the products. I personally was so attracted to this layout, just this whole collection, which is why I picked up a couple shades. You have five different shades in total. I was a little confused with the color stories because the light coral, medium coral were so similar that outside in natural light, I couldn't tell a difference. And so I initially picked up light coral, medium coral, and I love the bronzer of the light coral so much and the highlighter that I decided to swap the medium coral to the rose medium gold. One thing to know is that all of these pull a little bit warmer. I would say medium coral is the warmest out of all of them, but light coral, Coral, even though it's not a cool tone, is definitely less warm. Also, the medium rose gold. So let's start the application. I am going to start with light coral and I'm going to go in the bronzer. So this is the hourglass brush, the fluffy one, and I kind of squeeze this and go right in the center. Let's start applying the product here. I love that the compact is so big, it has a big old mirror right there, so that's always a plus. The foundation I'm wearing right now is my Tom Ford. I've been loving this. I wear it almost every single day, and oof, I've just fallen in love with it more and more than my initial review. It really is such a reliable foundation. Extremely expensive, absolutely not worth it, but I have it, I love it. So this is the bronzer from the light coral. I actually forgot to do swatches. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna do it right now. Here are the swatches for the light coral. It is definitely on the lighter side, but these are buildable. And here next to it, I swatched the medium rose gold. You can see the highlighter is probably the biggest difference. It's just pretty dark. I, I use it as a bronzer topper pretty much but I do like the blush. I think it's really beautiful. And I'll insert here a swatch of the medium coral, just so you can kind of see the differences between them. Back to the application, I'm gonna build up the bronzer just a little bit more. 
I think the formula is very smooth and creamy. I'm not familiar to the Le Beige bronzer, so I can't compare it to that. But the formula is very nice, very smooth. The bronzer itself also has some sort of a sheen through it as you can see right there it's not a flat matte bronzer the same goes for the blushes in here they both have this almost gold sheen going through it here is the bronzer in light coral and honestly i was expecting this to be much lighter on the skin, this looked a little bit deeper than the medium coral. The medium coral had more warmth to it and it looked just a little bit brighter. But this one, to me, looks a little bit deeper, which I enjoy. I really like the bronzer in, in the light coral, which is why I chose this one over the medium coral. Let's take a brush for the blush section right here. This is a refer number 19. Now this shade is definitely lighter. Um, I really enjoyed the corally shade from the medium coral. I just felt that these two were just too similar on the cheeks. You can definitely build up the blush here. You can have a wash of it, which I kind of like it this way, or you can build it up and have it a little bit brighter. I personally really like it like this. I find it very soft and elegant. Um, but you can definitely make it a little bit brighter. The only thing to remember is that this has a shift in it, like a slight glow in it that's leaning golden. So if you build it too much, I feel like you build up that gold shift in it as well. It's not just the coral. The same thing happens to the rose one. I think it's a beautiful, but it's just something to kind of be aware of. And then let's take the highlighter and put it on top. I love this highlighter right here. I think it is beautiful, it is soft, yet you can build it up and have it impactful. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. I'm just gonna take the blush brush and blend these two together. Let me just blend in the bronzer a little bit more here. So here we have the light coral and I think it's really beautiful. It's kind of everyday. It, nothing is too much. The highlighter is not too bright. The bronzer is not too warm. The blush is not too intense. It's just a kind of everyday palette. Now, I thought it was pretty from the beginning, but I didn't think it was anything crazy for $95. However, after I've worn it outside in natural light and just in the mirror, it just does something to your skin. It gives such a beautiful finish. I am mesmerized every time I look in the mirror when I wear this palette because it is so beautiful on the skin. It has something in the bronzer, blush, highlighter. All of them are so soft and elegant. They're not too much so it just makes my skin look just so beautiful i actually put a little story on instagram i'll insert it here this was me just wearing the light coral shade and this was taken in the car in sunlight and i thought the skin looked so gorgeous and it looked like that pretty much all day and so i just wanted to show you how it looks in natural light because the studio can definitely dim the finish of these powders. Now, is it anything revolutionary? No, you can definitely get the same effect with other powders, but I personally really enjoyed it. I enjoyed having three different colors. The one thing that I want to mention is, can you see right there? Right there, I'm really hoping the camera can pick it up. It looks like it wants to hard pan. Now I've seen this for a couple of days now, but I haven't had any issue with the product being picked up. I almost feel like it's emphasized because the ridges are slowly going away just because I've used it quite a bit. But I wanted to mention that. Let's see if I swatch it right there. Yeah, a lot of product comes off. So it's not like it's hard painting and the product's not coming off. It's just something that I'm going to keep an eye on and let you guys know. The same I see here. So I kind of think that it is more the ridges in the product and the shimmer kind of standing out where you're swatching or applying. And also, you know, you can get oils from your fingers in there. I've swatched it quite a lot of times for you guys. So 
I'm gonna keep an eye on that and let you guys know, but so far I haven't had a problem with a pickup. Okay, let's move on to the medium rose gold. This is the same idea. You have a blush, bronzer, highlighter. Now the highlighter is just too deep for me and I've tried to use it as a highlighter or like on the cheeks and it gives me more of that bronzy effect rather than a highlighty effect. So I've decided to use these as a bronzer together and it is beautiful. The bronzer by itself is gorgeous as well. So if you have deeper skin tone, you could definitely do that. But this is what I've been doing and I love the finish. This is the reason why I wanted this palette because I thought the bronzer was so beautiful. And again, I don't know how much the camera can pick up um, the slight differences in the bronzer. I will go in natural light and just kind of do a side by side so you can see how the products look and the differences in them. I personally love a more glowy bronzer without any shimmer. And I feel like this is giving me exactly that. It's a little bit, not necessarily warmer, but maybe a little bit more rosy undertone in the bronzer rather than the light corally one. And I really, really like it. I think it's it's really beautiful. You can probably see on the skin that combining these two definitely gave me like a little bit more of, of a glow, but there's no actual like shimmer or anything harsh in it. And I really like that combo, mostly in the summer when I'm a little bit more bronze to just put this all over. It would look so beautiful. I would put it on my nose as well. Um, honestly, I would combine all of these the same with the light coral. Combining all of them and putting it all over your face gives you the most beautiful sun-kissed glow, for sure. Let's take the blush. Now, this blush has a lot of sheen to it. It's definitely pulling gold, so you do not need a highlighter with this. Oops, might have applied a little bit much, but... I was a little bit bummed in the beginning swatching this thinking, oh, I'm not going to have a highlighter in this, but you do not need a highlighter because the blush has so much sheen to it. It is very glowy. It is definitely pretty gold. So if you have like fair light skin tone, I don't think this is going to be for you whatsoever. But if you have even deeper than my skin tone, I would say I'm a light medium. If you have medium skin tone, I think this is going to be absolutely gorgeous. I think for me, this will work even better when I'm more tan in the summertime. It will give me the most beautiful golden goddess <laughs> kind of um, effect. I do like it right now as well. I think it's a little bit more unique and different from Chanel. So I do enjoy the blush from that one. Should I try to put the highlighter on? No, it's, it's just going to be too dark. Look at that. That is not a highlighter for my skin tone. It's more of a bronzer, honestly. But the sheen is a very soft and elegant. It has a little bit of a gold in it. So I think for medium skin tone, it will be absolutely gorgeous. This is definitely a little bit different, a little bit more unique from Chanel. I don't think I own anything like this from them. There's other companies that I have similar blushes, but from Chanel, I don't have anything quite like this. This was the one that I skipped over the first time, but I actually find it the most unique out of all of them. Here are the two palettes side by side, light coral. You can definitely see that it's more corally and it's more highlighty, more lighter. And the medium rose gold, I think this is going to be that summer golden goddess product that I'm going to reach for over and over again. I decided to pick up the camera just to show you in natural light how this looks like. So here we have the light coral one. You can see it's a little bit more corally. The highlighter is a little bit brighter. And then this is the rose gold one. It's a little bit more rosy. There's a lot of glow going through the blush. Um, and I think this is a little bit warmer as well. Now, I can go around like this and not touch up my blush and fix it. And I don't think everybody would notice that I'm wearing two different blushes, bronzers, highlighter, and all that. So that's not great for me just because I spend $200 pretty much on 
pretty much almost the same thing. They are different, okay? They're different. You just don't need two of these. You just need one that is great. I love the light coral one because they look so just clean, natural, glowy. But the rose gold one, I think when I'm a little bit more tan, it will be really beautiful. That kind of summery golden goddess thing. I had to switch my hands because this one was hurting holding it up. But <laughs> I just think the, the finish of this is so, so beautiful. So I just wanted to show you here in natural light how everything is looking alike. I think you can really see here the, the gold shift this has compared to the other one. But yeah. That's it. I actually wore this the other day, just like this. Put it all over and I I just put it everywhere. I thought it looked so pretty like that. Now let's talk about the medium coral. That was the one product I picked up first. It was the one that I wanted first. I was like, that is my color story. The Everything about it, I liked. I did play with it in store. I put the light coral on one side, medium coral on the other side, and I decided on medium coral. Now, when I walked outside, I just felt like they were just too similar to each other. And the bronzer in the medium coral felt a little bit warm for my skin tone right now. The blush I absolutely loved. It was bright, it was inviting. Uh, my husband actually really liked the blush in that one. I also really liked the highlighter. Just the whole thing was really beautiful. But on the skin, the light coral and medium coral looked so similar that I could not justify keeping both of them. And I don't think I've ever returned or swapped anything at Chanel. The reason why I decided to keep the light coral over the medium coral is that I just loved the bronzer. I loved the highlighter. I just loved the palette overall. It felt like a very everyday friendly, yet something very special. Uh, with my undertones, I preferred this one over the medium coral. Also the bronzer in the medium coral and the medium rose gold they were quite similar. So again, you have two products that are similar. I didn't want to have that. And I also thought the blush was just so much more different than the light coral. And the last reason was that I already had so many coral blushes, including the, what was this, Spring 2024 from Chanel. I really enjoy this blush. It's bright, corally, um, and it lasts a long time. So personally, I thought it was a wiser choice to do that. However, if I I could just pick one, which is what most people are gonna do. They're not gonna spend hundreds of dollars on different bronzers from Chanel. I would pick the medium coral because I think overall is the most well-rounded, the brightest for my skin tone. Even though it's a little bit on the warmer side for summertime, it's really beautiful. But since I picked up two of these palettes, it just didn't make sense to pick something that has so many similarities in between these. Wow, that was a lot of explanation over one face palette. Also, the deeper shades looked absolutely beautiful. They're a little bit more burgundy, a little bit more mauve some of them. I kind of played with them a little bit. They're just too deep for me. There's one that's really deep, so I'm excited to see more of that from Chanel. Saying that, I was quite disappointed in the color stories that they picked and the variety that they gave us. The light coral, medium coral looked almost the same on my cheeks. Slight difference, but not enough to where it would warrant me picking multiple shades. The rose gold was a little bit different, but honestly, overall, they all have the same kind of finish, more goldenish, even the light one has gold in it, the rose gold has gold in it, so it makes them look a little bit more similar than I wanted to. So right now, I kind of feel like I wasted my money on one of them when I could just have one. I will keep them both because I do really enjoy the formula. And here we're going to go to the positive. Um, I love the way that you sit on the skin. I love the finish that it gives. They're soft, they're creamy without being super powdery. It picks up well, but it's not messy at all. They blend into the skin really beautiful. Everything has this beautiful natural glow to it, except the blushes, obviously. Some of them have that gold shift in it. Almost Almost like the NARS orgasm, just much more refined and much more elegant on the skin. There's just this shift on the cheeks that I adore. Mostly natural light. It looks 
magical. It looks like I have the most healthy skin. I also like the variety of having three different colors in here. I like that I can mix them together. I like that I can wear them separate. I've worn them on my eyes as well. So I personally really enjoy the product. I know $95 is a lot, but you do get a lot of product. You're paying for Chanel, okay? We're not talking about Milani or even Charlotte Tilbury. We're talking about Chanel, which is luxury in my opinion and you do get three different products for that price range. Is this something revolutionary that we've never seen before? Absolutely not. You can get other products that are similar to this. I think this is meant for Chanel lovers like me. I've really gotten to love this brand and appreciate their products. It's the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. It feels actually quite sturdy. Um, you get a big compact. They did come out with the um, other face palette last year that I loved. It was, I think, three blushes and a highlighter, but I have to say that this formula I like better. There's a sheen to it, uh, more beautiful. It's softer on the skin. It's a little bit more elegant. So I prefer this formula than the last year. And I think that one was around the same price, if I'm not mistaken. The other thing that I really despise about Chanel is how they do their releases. This is so chaotic. You don't know where it's at. You don't know if when it's coming online in stores. I bought mine at the boutique, but I heard that it was available at Saks and then it sold out. And it's just such a mess. And I know sometimes they do it to gather more interest and people uh, almost rushing to purchase before they sell out. But I feel like it's a little tacky. They should just kind of come up with a better release system and not just confuse people. Mostly as a creator, I don't know if I should release the videos. Should I wait until they are available everywhere? But then if people are interested, they could be sold out. So I don't know. I'm just confused with the release and I really, really don't like it. And it almost makes me not want to review the new releases from Chanel unless they're available everywhere. But let me know your thoughts on that. I'm a little... I'm a little bitter towards that. So these are the new Sunkissed Glowy Powders. I will review the eyeshadow singles in a separate video. It should come maybe right after this video. I also did record the Lisa Elger's Skin Tint Full Day Wear Test. I need to edit that and have it out for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, that it was helpful. I personally was very confused about the color stories. So hopefully this helped you. And that's it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.